Hello and welcome to the Talent Egg Shorts series, Choosing Insurance First with Career Connections. My name is Mary Barrell and I'm president of Talent Egg. In this series, we'll be talking about the exciting opportunities in the insurance industry, getting valuable insights on working in insurance, and offering you insider tips on how to hatch your own career in Canada's property and casualty insurance industry. In this episode of our series, I'm joined by Jessica Chen, a senior underwriter of aviation at HDI Global Specialty SE. Welcome, Jessica. Hi, Mary. It's good to be here. Well, Jessica, let's just dive right in. Tell us a little bit more about your role as a senior underwriter in aviation insurance. For sure. So as a underwriter in, in insurance for aviation, uh, my priority is to assess each individual risk that comes on my desk, whether that's a small client who flies an airplane or a medium or large airline. Um, I assess the risk and see the risk profile, and then I provide a, ta a tailored insurance program for them. What are some companies you've been able to work with to determine their needs for aviation insurance? And are there any other kinds of industries that you also work with? For sure. So there are a variety of, of companies that we work with, um, not to name specific names, but they range from mining industry to charter, uh, whether it's private or more commercial, um, transportation, uh, as well as search and rescue and entertainment. Wow, that's really exciting. What's the most interesting part of your job as an underwriter? I would have to say it's getting to know and understand the different types of aircraft that's been flown by individuals and companies. Um, as an aviation enthusiast, I, I don't fly personally, but I love to just learn about more aircraft in general um, and seeing the different types out there and and the way people fly and the purpose that they do it, it's it's amazing so how can interested students and new graduates find out more information about starting their career as an aviation insurance underwriter so aviation is a little different than uh property and casualty just because it is one of the niche markets um so in terms of starting off in aviation i would say the number one thing is to look at bigger companies that offer aviation as an insurance line. Not all companies do on the underwriting side. However, you can also go on a broker side and a lot of major brokers, they will offer job opportunities for students that can go into different lines, including aviation. And those companies are um, Aon or Marsh. And do you have to have some sort of aviation background to get into this area or can anybody really enter it? Um, I would say you don't necessarily have to have aviation background, but it is preferred. Uh, so if you have a keen interest just in aviation alone, that is already a good start. That's how we're looking for a passion for aviation and the rest will come with jump. Okay, great, Jessica. It was such a pleasure to speak with you. Thanks for sharing your knowledge, experience and insight with the talented community. Thank you so much, Mary. And that's a wrap for this episode in our Talent Egg Shorts series, Choosing Insurance First with Career Connections. Like this video and hit the subscribe button to ensure you don't miss out on any of the other episodes of this series. For more information about Career Connections, upcoming events, and careers in insurance, visit their profile on talentegg.ca. We've put the link in the video description. Thanks so much for watching and have an excellent day.